For the stunt drivers in these commercials, all it takes is a little speed and a quick turn of the wheel. But for most drivers, it's the maneuver we dread more than any other. Parallel parking. What's the matter, lady? Can't you drive that thing? It's an anxiety captured by those driver's ed movies back in high school. Well, not much has changed. We wanted to know, how will people react to the parallel parker from hell? A driver who not only whacks someone's car, but who then just walks away. Will anyone stick up for the owner of the wrecked car? We watch as one after another, people witness the driver crash into the car behind her and then leave the scene without so much as a note. This woman hesitates, but then continues on her way. It was really none of my business, and it was really up to her to decide with herself if she was going to do the right thing and find out who owned the car. And what are these two thinking? And I said to the lady, I said, should we wait here for the, the owner of the Jaguar to come out? And she said, no, she's getting out of the car. She looks honest. So you let her go. Unfortunately, I didn't do anything. So I felt bad about it ever since. Well, maybe not too bad, since we've just told him that the driver is actually an actress hired by Primetime, and, as always, our hidden cameras are rolling. Oh. Oh, my. Are you okay? Oh. Are you okay? But we're about to discover that some people will spring to the defense of a complete stranger, the owner of that damaged car. Can you want to check and see if anybody in that restaurant has a I, I don't have time for this. I barely tapped it. The woman offers to help find the owner of the car and wants to call police, but our driver has no intention of hanging around. I don't have time to deal with this. What a piece of junk. I think you should be nicer because she sort of did that. I barely tapped it. Nice, and the sir. bumper I'll, fell off. With that, the two women part company, our driver marching off to her imaginary appointment. Moments later, we meet Laura Lemaire, a school teacher. At school, I talk to my fourth graders, do the right thing, and think about how you would feel if somebody did this to you. Another crash, and two more women stop in their tracks. Jessica Benari and Sally Owens are shocked at first, but watch their faces when our driver just walks off. Incredulous, they split up and go in search of the car owner. Your um, jaw dropped. I, w <laughs> I literally, it was just like unbelievable. So she walked away. Yeah. It was like the nerve. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, oh. We've seen how people respond when the driver is a woman. But what if it's a man behind the wheel? Plenty of people just stroll on by with little more than a curious glance at our actor. But this man stops. He looks stunned. And then he suggests that our driver report the mishap. There's a policeman up there. You can... Yeah, I appreciate if you didn't say anything. Thanks. I would be very unhappy if that were my car. And then along comes a woman we think is quite extraordinary. Ah, as our driver walks off, the woman remains watchful, walking back towards the car, fumbling for pen and paper. And that's when we decide to see what she'll do when the owner of the damaged Jaguar, played by our actress, comes back. What happened? He backed right into your car. Who did? This guy. What did he look like? He's tall, with sunglasses on. Okay. Can you imagine somebody just walking away? No. Well, maybe he's coming back. I mean, I love to give people the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. And now, as she writes down the license number of the Mustang, we send our hapless driver back to the scene of the crime. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. You just backed into our car. I, I just tapped it. I... You, no, you Excuse just backed. Me. You've got to call the police. I was watching you. You can drive off. Please. I don't have time for the police. I mean, no, you know. You, you know what? Sit there and wait. Do you have a cell phone? <laughs> Unaware that the owners of both cars are really actors, she's taking complete control of the situation, grabbing a cell phone and calling 911. Uh, somebody backed into another car, and they're about to leave the scene of the accident. But the police won't be coming. They know all about our experiment, and now, so does Susan Volker. He denied he did anything, so I... I made a citizen's arrest. I told him to stay there and you're not moving and he argued with me. As it turns out, Susan Volkert knows something about right and wrong. She's an attorney, the wife of a judge, and the mother of both a marine helicopter pilot and an FBI agent. We taught them 
If nothing else, you do the right thing. And opportunities to teach our kids important life lessons can come up quite unexpectedly. Oh! Just watch the reactions of these three women. Two of them want to stay and see the drama play out, but they've got small children with them. Wait, wait, you, you get them. Our actress is back at the wheel. At first, the women look sympathetic. But listen to what happens when the haughty driver just keeps going. Oh, please don't say anything. Please. Walk away. Just walk away. I'll be back in an hour. I'll, I'll deal with it then. We decide to send our driver right back. Paying no attention to the damage, she gets in her car and drives off. The women can't believe it. Now, watch closely as one of them actually starts to run after our driver. A few moments later, I bring Amy and Nancy Friedman, sisters, back for a chat. You ran after the car. <laughs> when she came back, and also I saw there were police officers at the end of the street, and I was like, this is perfect. We right. can have someone arrest her right now. Like the others who've intervened in our experiment, the Friedman sisters have strong feelings about justice. It's her whole notion of a just world was violated. Colgate University psychology professor Carrie Keating. This woman should pay for what she did and she was going to ensure that that happened. A lot of people would applaud. Absolutely. This is how neighborhood watch functions. Mm -hmm. It's taking ownership of the community and acting. But you had your kids with you. You didn't have to stop and get involved in this. Well, it's a good object lesson for them. You know, not to, to see that you don't let stuff like that happen. What do you think happened? I think that um, she was backing up and she accidentally um, bumped the car. And then she ran away? Yeah. Was that right or wrong? No, it wrong. Was wrong. A lesson learned early and well. <laughs>